Okay, so today we're going to be doing our first print on the massive Builder Extreme 1500. As you can see, it's quite a, a large FDM printer, um, and the build volume that you can print to is 50 centimeters by 110 centimeters by 82. Um, so you can do some really large prints with this. It's actually got um, two feeds uh, for two different colors of, of material at once, and they both feed through the same nozzle, um, similar to the other building material builder printers out there um, and as you can see for prints that fit into this machine you need some quite hefty uh, spools so these are 4.5 kilos um, it prints best with PLA so that's what we're going to be using and um, we'll just show you how to set up the file now Okay, so we've got our uh, file on our SD cards and we've done that using Simplify 3D. Uh, so we'll just turn on the machine and insert the SD cards. And then the next thing we do is preheat the machine and this just brings the bed and the nozzle up to temperature. Um, so we've got PLA in there, so it will go up to the correct temperature for PLA. We'll go into prepare and then preheat in the menu. And it'll start heating up. You can see the flashing light there indicating that it's doing that. Now we can select our print. So we'll select the rail body G code. And then the print should begin. So there's the first few layers going down. So as you can see, we've got both uh, materials inserted in there. And um, it is important to have both filaments loaded when you're printing and just ensures you don't get any blockages and we're going to just going to run through a quick time lapse of the print here you go and um, here's the here's the finished model okay so now Ollie's going to remove the print from the bed so we'll just open up the doors and using our build tax spatula you just sort of wedge it underneath and it should come free quite easily, which is quite good. It's worth uh, letting the build plate cool down. Um, we noticed that it was quite, it was almost impossible to get it off while, while it was hot. But uh, once the plate cools, it does come off relatively easily. And then um, we're just left with the task of removing the supports. And these ones here actually came off quite, quite easily. Um, we made those supports uh, in Simplify 3D using the manual setting. Um, so the first ones were obviously quite, quite well placed. Uh, the second ones were a little bit tougher to remove. Um, so we just used the pliers there to get those off. And eventually they did just pop off with a little bit of uh, elbow grease. There was a small amount of clean up once the, um, once the support had been removed. And we just used, we just used some uh, filament cutters and uh, a small standing knife. So here's the final model and it took just under 80 hours to complete. Okay, so that's our first print done on the Builder Extreme 1500. Um, we're actually going to be taking this printer to the uh, TCT show this year, um, so you can check it out there. Uh, alternatively, you can come to our showroom here in Haven um, and get a demonstration. Um, we're actually going to be finishing the second half of this whale and trying to combine the two bits together and then we're going to try and suspend it from the ceiling as well. Um, so that'd be quite cool. Um, if you uh, have any questions about the Builder Extreme 1500 or any of the other Builder uh, machines, uh, you can leave uh, comments in the section below and we'll try and get back to you. Um, and please subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.